All right, first question, everyone. Ray Charles famously had this state on his mind. What is its capital? No, oh, we got this. Let's reverse engineer this. You're a black singer. Where do you go? Somewhere where you're a novelty. Alaska? Atlanta. Oh, I know you think that because that's where the Olympics were held. My cousins were actually at those Olympics. Keep talking all you want. How am I supposed to know what was on his mind? Oh, what do blind people think about? Okay, dogs, canes, signs, manholes, stairs, piano, darkness. Okay, time's up. Let's get the boards up. Atlanta, Georgia is the correct answer. Hey now, you're not an all-star of the NBA, but you did get your game on when you won the NBA's Sixth Man of the Year Award in 2011. Who are you? Jim, Daryl, your time to shine. Sean Marion. Yes, Sean Marion. That doesn't sound right. I want to say LaDamian Washington. Wrong for so many reasons. Well, I know Elizabeth Taylor's sixth man was Richard Burton. Is that helpful? That's it. I'm going to go watch the boats on the river. Ron Artest, Kelly. No. It's Lamar Odom. If it had been Ron Artest, it would have come up in Dancing with the Stars when they pan over his trophy case when he's at home with his family. Lamar winning sixth man was a big storyline on Chloe and Lamar. All right, board's up. Let's see who got it. Lamar Odom is what we were looking for. Oh. Lamar Odom. Oh my God. Lamar Odom. Nice. Nicely done. You're my sports guys. You're ESPN, you're ESPN Classic. Ryan is MSNBC, I'm ETLC and Oxygen. Chill, man. This plan is airtight. After nine rounds, let's check the scores. In first place, with nine points, it's Aesop's Foibles. <laughs> the Quarantine Bears have seven points. <laughs> Dunder Mifflin A team has four points. All right. The DM Backup team has three points. The Einsteins have eight points. <laughs> Ladies Gaga have five points. <laughs> So, our best chance of hitting our mark is now in the hands and brains of Kevin, Meredith, Aaron, and Kelly. Do I like these odds? My answer is no. Woo! The top three teams are gonna finish it off in the speed round. So, let's get everyone some bells. In third place, we have the Einsteins. Oh, yes! <laughs> Second place, we have the Quarantine Bears. And first place is Aesop's Foibles. Yeah, but they're gonna get clobbered. Ring it in when you know it. First question. This man had a fatwa declared on him when... Einstein's? What? What is it? I did my part, babe. I'm just the bell girl. Aesop's? Salman Rushdie. Salman Rushdie is correct. <laughs> Heading out to sea, sailors. <laughs> on a square-rigged ship, the sail set furthest forward is called what? Princess Ding Dong, do not hit that bell. Flying hard. jib. Flying jib is correct. For the Einsteins. <laughs> Final round. Last two teams squaring off. I hope you're ready to play doctor. Our question is about the health and the human body. Oh, come on. The standard American analog scale has a maximum capacity of what weight? 300 pounds. Point for the Einstein. Here's your final question. Cinephiles, put on your memory berets. This 2001 masterpiece from Gilles Paquet Brenner explores the intricate dynamics of a family in disarray. The title of the film is The Scaffold and the Papillon. Yes. I'm sorry, no. Over to the Einsteins. Ray Jolie's chose it. Are you sure? Marianne Cotillard exposes herself a number of times in that film. The Einsteins win it. No! Come on! Come on! Win it. Yeah. Look, I know it's easy to say tonight was just a fluke, and maybe it was. But here's a piece of trivia. A fluke is one of the most common fish in the sea. So if you go fishing for a fluke, chances are you just might catch one. Oh, 